Well, hey everybody, it's your friendly neighbor, it's Saskatchewan guy, Iron Man 3406, back here with another uh, equipment operation tutorial video. So, uh, got a new cat grader here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the secondary steering test today. So, we'll get up in the cab, get her fired up, and walk through that test with you guys. So why do we need to do this secondary steering test or why is it important? Well in the belly of the beast where all the hydraulic pumps and everything are run from, there's a dedicated steering pump. But if that pump ever fails, we still want to be able to steer the machine safely. So there's a secondary steering pump, it's an electric motor with a pump bolted to it. And if that primary pump ever decides to fail, the secondary pump is going to automatically kick in so that we never have a delay in any steering when that secondary pump kicks in or when that primary pump fails. So the test process that I'm about to walk you guys through is to make sure that that secondary pump A is kicking in when it's supposed to and that the valve and everything is working so that we know that that steering system is working when the secondary system kicks in. So that's why it's important and that's why I'm showing you guys how to do it. All right, everybody up in the machine here now. So um, before you can actually do the secondary steering test, uh, you got the engine running. If you've got this steering not aligned message, you have to get rid of that warning first. And all you got to do is swipe your joystick for your steering left and right, nice and slow, a couple times, just so that the joystick can position itself the actual position of the front steering wheels. Park brakes got to be on, transmission has to be in neutral, and there's got to be enough room at the front wheels in order to actually turn the wheels left and right. So once all those parameters have been met, in order to do the test, you're going to press and hold this switch, and you're going to see the little steering wheel, secondary steering wheel light show up in this area of the monitor. Once that light is on, you're going to Steer left, back through center to the right, bring it back to the middle, and that's the test procedure. So we'll walk through it here, press and hold the switch. There we go, the secondary steering pumps in. I'm going to steer it left, I'm going to steer it right, I'm going to bring it back to the middle. Now, this switch, as long as you hold it, is only going to run for 10 seconds. As long as in that 10 second window when you're doing that test, everything stays amber, it's good. Now once the test is complete, if that light is on and it's red, that means the secondary steering test has failed, something's wrong with it, contact your dealer or your local service guys to sort out why the secondary steering test has failed. If under normal operating conditions that steering wheel warning light comes on, that means that the primary pump is not working anymore and you're running on the secondary pump. The secondary pump is not designed for you to keep working. If that light comes on, it's designed to get you off the road somewhere safe so that you can stop the machine and sort out what's going wrong. It is not a pump that you can continue to work the machine with. Always reference your operation and maintenance manual for the exact procedure in whatever machine you might be running. But that is the procedure in this particular cat grader. This is a 150 all wheel drive. Um, just always reference that OMM.
All right, everybody. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. Hope you learned something new. Hope you can take this information to uh, properly do these tests on your machine that you're running or if you just need to reference this to know how to do it. Hopefully this uh, gives you an idea how to do that. So I'm going to sign off. I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to see more of these operational tutorials that I've been doing. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. And don't forget, I am Iron Man.